Hello everyone, Ryan here. So this is my TBR for the month of September. Yeah. First, I decided to read The Jungle by Upton Sinclair. Actually, this would be kind of a reread for me because I attempted to read this quite a while ago. I want to say like more than three or four years ago. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember. I got like halfway through it and then I kind of lost interest, but also like got busy doing other stuff. And so decided to <clears throat> pick it up again. I know I've, I've read a lot of really interesting reviews about this and I do know that it has a lot to do with the whole, uh, I guess you would say, meat industry meat packing, meat uh, slaughterhouse, slaughterhouse industry, I guess, is more accurate, so. Next, I decided to read uh, The Boy Who Drew Monsters by Keith Donahue. For a lot of interesting stuff about this. I believe I mentioned this in one of the uh, library book hauls that I did. Yeah. I'll uh, provide a link to that to the library hall in which I talk about this and but I know this is another one too that I've read some interesting stuff about too so next is a uh, highly logical behavior by John Corey Whaley yeah this is a I guess it is categorized as a YA novel the only thing I know about it is the main character uh, he, uh, there's this, there's this boy who's like, I guess like, I want to I say agoraphob agoraphobic, yeah, or something like that. Uh, actually, I recently uh, saw a review that fellow booktuber did on this. Uh, her channel name is Kathy Chatty, I believe. Yeah, Kathy Chatty. Um, and the way she described it, it definitely seemed, seemed very interesting to me. So I wanted to pick it up, give it a shot, because it seemed interesting. It's also not that thick either. So, by the way, if you want to check out uh, Kathy's booktube channel, I'll provide a link to that down below. Next one is, Does the Noise in My Head Bother You? A rock and roll memoir by Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler, of course, is lead singer frontman of the band Aerosmith and while I've never been that big of a fan of Aerosmith to begin with I mean I like some of their songs I wouldn't say necessarily call myself a die-hard Aerosmith fan I know there are a lot of die-hard Aerosmith fans out there uh, but I do I do gotta admit Steven Tyler is one of my favorite rock singers uh, because yeah, I just I like that he's able to hit a lot of really high notes and keep the stretch it out for long periods of time, keep the vibrato going. And uh, I just started reading this, but uh, it already seems interesting. Uh, and I'm surprised too that uh, for for all I know, Steven Tyler wrote this on his own. But I wouldn't be surprised if he had help from some kind of ghostwriter or something. But so far, it seems like it's it's like it's written in. Uh, it's not like from an outsider's perspective, and it's not even really like past tense or third person. It's kind of like Steven Tyler. It reminds me of like if you were to sit down and have a conversation with Steven Tyler, and yeah, this is what it would look like in book form. So it's definitely interesting, pretty cool too. So. Next, I decided to read uh, some graphic novels here, Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Grayson. Of course, I checked these out from my local library a while ago. Uh, this is just, of course, Dick Grayson, who's more commonly known as Robin. Uh, eventually, he gives up, obviously, when he's done being Robin and also done being uh, Nightwing, he becomes like some kind of CIA, not CIA. I don't know why I said CIA. 
some kind of spy of some sort. So. Uh, I'm also going to read Suicide Squad, uh, Volume 4 and Volume 5. I also checked these out from my local library a while ago. Because um, I did review, I did read and review Volumes 1, 2, and 3. So, yeah, I do want to continue with it. Again, I will say this version of Suicide Squad is far better than the recent movie that came out in theaters. Definitely far better, much, much better. Yeah. Last graphic novel here is uh, Gotham City Sirens, book one. And it just looked interesting to me because, you know, it's, it's all about a lot of the female characters, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, bunch of others uh, and the Joker does it doesn't look like the Joker does feature in this quite a lot so yeah look interesting so and also too I plan on reading uh, two ebooks uh, it's going to be the uh, picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde and also, uh, The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. I actually read The Invisible Man uh, quite a while ago. Uh, of course, H.G. Wells is one of my all-time favorite science fiction writers. But I wanted to reread it. And, yeah, also because I do, I want to get back into reading a lot more classics. Uh, also rereading some classics that I haven't read in, in a very long time. So, yeah, The Invisible Man. Of course, this TBR list is subject to change at any given moment. I mean, based upon whatever happens to me during this month or doesn't happen or, you know, I like to think of uh, my TBR to be a pretty, pretty fluid thing. So, yeah. I mean, how can it not be? I, it's, but I mean, I do, you know, kudos to those fellow booktubers who are actually able to really stick to their TBR list. But, yeah, for me, for me, I don't, I don't, I just rather keep it fluid and open, so, yeah. But that'll do it. Let me know if you've heard of these titles. Obviously, I know most of them are familiar. Uh, also, if you can recommend similar stuff, that'd be awesome. I appreciate that. So, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check me out on social media if you want to or not. Uh, also, I want to say check out my Facebook page. Um, I've started like posting some stuff on my Facebook page that I don't really post anywhere else. And, yeah. All right. Forgot if I was gonna. I think I was gonna say something else before. I guess not. So, but anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching. As always, till next time. Don't forget, keep it real. Keep on rocking, and peace.